Today we're going to talk about how to simplify security management with Palo Alto Networks. We'll go through a few slides in PowerPoint and then we'll jump into the product and I'll give you a demonstration of some of the features we think will help you streamline your security management. In total, it should take about 10 minutes of your time. So let's get started. The state of security management today is uh, pretty simple. Too many devices and not enough control. So what we mean by that is, as you can see on the slide, is multiple policies across all these different devices, many of which have uh, duplicate information. Uh, we've seen cases such as Checkpoint uh, new application blade where the firewall policy has source, destination, user, and then protocol information. And then you have to go into the uh, application control policy and enter much the same information, source, destination, user, and then the application. So it makes it very difficult to maintain a uh, consistent policy control when you're looking at a firewall policy, an application control policy, an IPS policy, all with similar information or uh, duplicate information. The challenge becomes how will you reconcile and make sure that all of those policies are uh, acting appropriately and doing what you really want them to do when they're in different locations and managed somewhat separately and disparately. The other thing that you run into is that there is no uh, really easy way to learn more about the traffic traversing your network. There's not the tools that many of the devices have are difficult non-intuitive. They really don't give you the visibility into the network traffic that you need in order to make intelligent decisions about how to treat the applications traversing your network. And then finally, in the event of a, uh, of a security incident or if you need to perform some log analysis for compliance purposes or reporting uh, for compliance purposes, Many of these uh, alternative solutions have disparate uh, logging and reporting offerings. They're often separate, uh, extra cost items, uh, again, adding to the uh, too many devices and not enough control challenge that we see in uh, today's security management world. So our view is uh, that you can simplify management while increasing control. And we kind of can lump those best practices into uh, the, uh, the following uh, subject matter. You need to learn more about what's on your network first. And you, we can use a series of graphical tools that summarize the network activity, uh, uh, such as applications, users, and uh, threats traversing the network. Then that gives you the ability to more intelligently respond or react. And we can do that by monitoring the traffic, uh, meeting with the business groups, or going so far as to securely enable the, the applications via a policy, or even block. What you're doing here is you're learning about what's on the network, then you're uh, reacting in a, an intelligent manner uh, to better the business. And finally, you would then use the tools within the uh, Palo Alto Network's next generation firewall to report, analyze, and investigate. So the fully customizable reporting, intuitive log viewer, third party support, uh, all enable you to uh, really do a much better job of reporting and analyzing the traffic traversing your network than you might have with uh, disparate devices, all with disparate different um, uh, management tools. And what the, the value is in, in following that process is you're, you're minimizing and controlling the attack service on the network. Everybody would agree that the applications traversing the network are the most common threat vector, yet you have to be able to allow those applications in a secure and safe manner. So by first blocking the applications you don't want on the network, and then allowing the applications such as Oracle, Facebook, uh, SAP, and so on, on the network, and then scanning that traffic for threats, you're able to reduce the attack service, uh, blocking the bad, and allowing and uh, securely enabling the applications that you know can help better your business and better your bottom line. Now let's jump into the product demo and take a look at some of the features 
that Palo Alto Network's next generation firewalls offer to help simplify security management. The first feature that um, will help you achieve that goal is Application Command Center. Application Command Center gives you a summary of the applications, the URL categories, the threats, and the data patterns traversing your network. So from here, you can learn a tremendous amount about what's going on in your network. For imag uh, imagine, if you would, for a moment that uh, you've never seen the application Nutella on your network. You can click on Nutella and drill down into it and learn a little bit more about what the application is, how it behaves. You'll see the behavioral characteristics here, the different ports that it uses, as well as the different users who are accessing Nutella, um, as well as the source and destination information. As you scroll down further, you see the different countries that the application is going to and from, and then the different rules and security zones that the application traffic is touching. So in the span of just a few minutes, you've learned a tremendous amount about what Nutella is, who's using it, and the possible risk factors. Each one of the different elements within this particular screen um, are active, so I can drill down into different users and find out how much Nutella uh, traffic this user is accessing. And if I remove the, <coughs> app, the filter Nutella from here, I can see the different applications that this individual is using. So what that allows me to do is learn more about the applications, the users, and the different applications those users are accessing. And I can now make a more intelligent decision on how to respond. Normally, to generate this type of visibility, you would need to use two or three different tools, yet all of this information is uh, accessible with a few clicks of the mouse here in the Palo Alto Network's Next Generation Firewall. It is important to point out that ACC is not the log viewer. ACC is a graphical summary of the actual traffic traversing the network. The log viewer is within the monitor tab, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So. To put it another way, ACC gives you the 10,000 foot view of what's happening on your network and the ability to drill down to the 5,000 foot view and then you would uh, perform more granular analysis in the log viewer. Now let's jump into the policy tab. The policy tab is very similar to many of the, of the uh, firewall management tools out there in that you have your source, your destination information. Uh, where we differ is in the fact that we have the application column here, and then we have the ability to set very, very specific threat profile information um, over here on the right-hand side. So rather than use many different tools to first control the firewall traffic, then try and control the application traffic, and then go in and set individual policies for the... Um, antivirus protection, the vulnerability protection, the spyware protection, and so on, I can go in and set a policy that allows us to read Facebook only and base that information on the actual applications and then apply a very application-specific uh, threat prevention profile to this traffic. I can block all the antiviruses. I can <clears throat> block all the vulnerabilities. I can block all the spyware. I would leave the URL filtering it alone. And I can even block uh, the file transfer. So in the span of just a few minutes, I've set a policy that is very comprehensive and is very application specific. I don't have to go into separate tools. I don't have to go into separate devices or separate tabs. It's all done in the individual rule. Now finally, let's jump over into the monitor tab where you would perform the ground level forensics. Earlier I showed you ACC, which gives you the 10,000 foot view. Here is where you perform the ground level forensics, the real uh, nitty gritty and detailed analysis into the traffic traversing your network. Again, uh, the, here you see the log viewer. The <clears throat> Uh, query tool is context sensitive so I can go in and look for SSL traffic that has 
traversed <coughs> is traversing the network that is not on port 443. So if I wanted to see the different types of traffic that are using SSL but they're not using it on, S on port 443, which is its standard port, I can quickly generate a query that shows me all of the different application traffic, the users, the source and destination IP addresses, as well as the ports for the traffic that is using SSL. This gives you a great example of the different ways in which SSL can be used that are non-standard ports. As you scroll down, you see the different reports that we have uh, available in the tool. There's more than 50 different <coughs> reports, application reports, traffic reports, threat reports, uh, PDF summary reports, and URL filtering reports, all of which can be run on specific time periods, can be uh, scheduled to run uh, at a specific date. If I wanted to look at the top applications for the 29th of August, I can do so very quickly and then export that information to either a PDF or a, a comma delimited format. Um, all of the logs uh, can be exported or I should say uh, sent to a syslog server for analysis by other third-party tools such as Splunk, QN Labs, uh, RSA, and so on. So that concludes our uh, discussion of how to simplify uh, security management with Palo Alto Networks. I appreciate you t spending the time to take a look at our video. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.